Hello and welcome to another slice of Daily Bread. I'm so glad that you have joined us here today. Today's devotional will be brought to us by Pastor Mike Lambert. As always, Pastor Mike, welcome to Daily Bread. And it's a pleasure to be with you again, Lowell. Now, as we always do, before we begin, let's open with a word of prayer. Lord, we thank you for your many blessings towards each one of us. We thank you for your precious word as well. And as we open its sacred pages and study today, I pray that your spirit will bless us and guide us. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, I'd like each one of you to join me. Grab your Bibles. And we want to go to the book of Psalm. We're going to be reading several verses from the 143rd Psalm. So Psalm 143, we're going to start with verse number one, and we're going to read through verse number seven. And verse seven is going to be our key thought. So here we go. Verse one says, Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my supplications. In thy faithfulness answer me, and in thy righteousness. And enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath smitten my life down to the ground. He hath made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the days of old, and I meditate on all thy works. I muse on the work of thy hands. I stretch forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsts after thee as a thirsty land. Hear me speedily, O Lord. My spirit faileth. Hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. And so here King David, he is praying this fervent prayer. It's a prayer letting God know that his heart is heavy. David has realized that he has sinned greatly. Um, and he is praying for this renewed favor, this renewed relationship and friendship with God. In verse seven, he clearly states, he says, Lord, I want you to hear me. And notice how he wanted God to hear him. He says, hear me speedily, O Lord, for my spirit faileth. David evidently knew that God knew how to answer prayers immediately. And so he, he prays and it's interpreted here as, hear my prayer, Lord, hear me speedily. Um, he, David knew what Isaiah would know. Uh, and recorded in Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 24, you remember it says, and before they call, I will answer. While they are yet speaking, I will hear. And I would like to suggest uh, for this particular devotional, this idea of when we pray, uh, that we pray, God, will you hear me speedily? Uh, while I am yet speaking, God hears me and he answers my prayer. That is something that is pretty fast. There are a lot of fast things in life. I've got a list of him, a list of things here. Uh, follow along with me here as we just cover some illustrations and we'll get back to our main point. Uh, there are certainly some fast cars. There are fast planes. There are fast bikes. There are fast people who can run fast. Uh, I, I have sometimes wished that I had a fast car, but that's probably not a good idea. Uh, I've, I don't think I've ever had a fast car. I had a slow car. It was a Geo Metro. And when I was coming up on a hill, I would have to speed up. I would put the accelerator just down to the floor. And when I did that, not very many things happened very fast. It just slowly gained speed. It had this little a 1.03 cylinder in it with about 49 horsepower off the factory floor. And so it was not a fast car, uh, but I would floor it to make it up the hill on the other side. And I'd have to uh, shift down going up, you know, speed up as fast as I can going into it. And then by the time I got to the top of the hill, I was shifting down from uh, fifth gear down to fourth gear down to third gear usually in third gear I could make it up that's how much it slowed me down I had a friend who had a fast car in high school 
I, I think it was like a 78 Camaro Z28 with a high performance 454 in it. And we were coming back from a from downtown Seattle one night from a, I think it was like a, a Seattle Supersonics basketball game. And he was cruising south on I-5 at about 80 miles an hour and a Porsche just arrived beside us seemingly out of nowhere. And it rolled down its window and my buddy, he rolled down his window and they both nodded at each other and I'm going to my buddy, my friend, Anthony, no, let's not do this. Of course, he didn't listen to me and we took off and I saw the speedometer going past 120 miles an hour and I decided I was just gonna close my eyes and pray. And that, uh, uh, that Porsche, by the way, was a fast car. It left us behind in the dust. So there are fast cars. You know, the fastest human being on planet is supposed to be a guy named Usain Bolt. Uh, I think he may be retired now in track and field. Um, but uh, the research that I was able to do on this man, you know, he runs the, like the 100-yard dash in like nine and a half seconds. Uh, that's pretty fast. Uh, he's been clocked at about between like 27 and 28 miles per hour when he's in full stride. And so there are some fast things, but check this out. There are also, this is going to sound kind of surprising, there are also what we might call fast bugs. Have you ever wondered what the fastest bug was? You're probably saying, uh, no, I haven't. I haven't either, but follow me here a second. Uh, the fastest flying insect is supposed to be the male horsefly. And I guess this, have you ever tried to catch a fly? I have, for me it doesn't work very well. Uh, the male horsefly is supposed to be like the fastest flying insect. Uh, the male horsefly can catch up to a female horsefly, check this out, and can catch the female in midair, drop her to the ground for mating purposes, and they can, he can catch up to, he can, the male could be sitting somewhere, the female flying by, he catches up like that. Uh, entomologists have tested how fast this uh, male ho horse fly can go. And evidently they got a pellet gun. Uh, this is how they tested it. They got a pellet gun and kind of doctored it up to where it kind of looked like, a, I guess, a female fly. I don't know what you do to make that happen. Uh, and then they, they shot the pellet and the male horsefly caught up to the pellet and dropped it to the ground before it hit its target in the room that they were in. And the pellet was going like over 90 miles an hour. Uh, the male horsefly is fast. Another notable insect, uh, there's, there's an insect that's called the dull colored moth. I guess it's also called the black cutworm moth. It's got a wingspan, check out its wingspan. It's got a wingspan of like five centimeters. So we're talking about a small moth uh, and it can fly an average airspeed of five to eight miles per hour. So if you can kind of picture that, this moth with a five centimeter wingspan flying five to eight miles an hour, that's the average speed. Um, but I don't know how these entomologists work on this, but they say that these moths, uh, when they are riding a cold front, a storm that's coming in, uh, that these moths have been recorded to uh, be able to fly, keep up with the wind, so to speak, when it was going 70 miles an hour. That's pretty fast. Uh, the fastest moving land insect is supposed to be the Australian tiger beetle. And uh, we understand that these things can move. Check this out. 171 body lengths per second. Uh, that's how they measure the speed of these insects. 171 body lengths per second. Uh, that would be like 4.16 miles per hour. Uh, and if we kind of match that over to like a human being, let's take a six foot tall man, that would be a few inches shorter than Usain Bolt, uh, a six foot tall man uh, running as fast as that, that is uh, like 171 body lengths per second. Usain Bolt can run like six body lengths per second. That's pretty fast. Fast. I would probably run like one body length per second. Um, but if a human being could do like 171 body lengths per second, that would be like 720 miles per hour. 
uh, almost breaking the sound barrier. And so there are certainly some fast things in the animal kingdom, isn't that true? But this is really the point. While these record-breaking bugs, I'll put it that way, these fast bugs, these record-breaking bugs are certainly speedy and impressive. God really holds the speed record. And David understood that when David was praying. He was saying, Lord, my heart is heavy. I'm distraught. Will you show me your mercy? Will you answer my prayer and answer it speedily? There were times when David's life was in danger and he prayed and God answered his prayer. Here in Psalm 143, it's, we don't see it so much as a situation where his life is in danger, but it's a situation where he was asking for the tender mercies of God, where he was asking, where he's confessing his sin, asking God to forgive him. And he was asking God to do this, how? Speedily. He knew what Isaiah would come to know. Before they call, I will answer. While they are yet speaking, I will hear them. John put it not so much in a speed way, but he said in 1 John 1, 9, if I confess my sin, he is faithful and just to forgive me and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Uh, so how are things in your life? How is your prayer life? You know, if we are to grow spiritually, we must be people of prayer. And with that, I hope that you understand that when we pray, God can answer speedily. Daniel prayed one day and Gabriel came and answered his prayer. And Gabriel told him, at the beginning of your supplication, at the beginning when you started to pray, God told me to give you the information you were asking for. And Gabriel left heaven and traveled through the, oh, who knows what the distance is, these millions of light years of space from God's throne to the Middle East in, on planet Earth where David was, where uh, Daniel was praying. And uh, the angel Gabriel arrived with the answer before Daniel said amen. And by the way, he arrived in one piece. <laughs> you know, God can do things quickly for you and for me. And you and I can trust a God like that. We can pray, Lord, will you forgive me? and he forgives us and fully justifies us. We can pray, Lord, will you make me like you? And he will answer that prayer and he will sanctify us. We, we can pray, can you help me to share your love with others? And he can immediately answer that prayer and give us a double portion of his spirit so that we can share the blessings to others. Well, David's prayer simply is this, Lord, Hear me speedily. We have fast things here on earth, and if we have fast things down here, God can certainly answer just as fast. Will you pray with me? Our Father in heaven, we want to thank you so much for the privilege that we've had to consider your word. And we want to thank you that you're the type of God who hears while we are speaking. And that before we call, you can answer. You know our situation. You know who we are and what we're going through. So we ask that you will help us to be prayerful, that we will remember to pray each day, and that your answers can come speedily. And we thank you for this. In Jesus' name, amen.